I'm joined by Ralph Peak, WS North MHK, and he's here to tell us how he's been doing over the last year. And that's where we're going to be starting, looking back, I suppose, on, on, on how it's gone, and then we'll come to what's coming next. Yeah. Pretty quiet in a sense. I don't hear much from you. Is, are, you are you kind of the quiet guy that just gets on with things? Is, is that a fair statement? Let's get on with things, yeah, that's right. And I think Treasury is one of those um, departments that really just get on with the work. Um, it's a lot of the work you actually do is weeks or months ahead of, of it being released. So there is that um, uh, you have to keep, uh, obviously. Yeah, but Treasury, that's a full time one, isn't it? You don't get other things. You, that, that, that is seen as the. That's right, yes. Yeah, so once you're in Treasury, then there's a number of. Uh, so you're seeing all this thing going on behind the scenes. How is that's it? Right. Should we be, you know? Oh, are we? it's very good. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. And I mean, save and all that campaign. What's happened to that? I mean, that didn't that all end up going to Treasury? Because I haven't heard much about it. I keep asking people what's well, going on with SAVE. Treasury Minister was um, responsible for that, um, and he then took that to the Council of Ministers. So it's with the Council of Ministers at the moment, and they're um, going through and, and deciding on which ones they can actually promote. But we had a good year, tax year, didn't we? And you, yes, last year was, was good, yes. yes. So it's, it's so what, good. What, what, what were your highlights from last year then for yourself? What, what bills or what, what, what were you pleased that happened? We've been actually, um, well, I think last year was uh, the Treasury bill taken through for, for Treasury. That's um, uh, in, in last year, 2017. And really, we've been just day to day running, really. We've obviously had the purchase of the Steam Packer, that's been a big um, event. We've got the uh, public sector pensions coming up. So we've had a lot of work on that in Treasury and then looking to present that to members next coming. How, how did you, you divide your, uh, between you know, the national work and your? work for your constituents. Did you give an answer for PAG on that one? I did give an answer for PAG um, and certainly he's quite happy to share that really. I actually give them quite a detailed breakdown oh. of, a, of a particular day. Just, just roughly for us. Average. Then, well, it's, around about, it's around about 30% of your time is revolved around um, constituency work and, and work outside government. So I think that's quite important to do. Uh, I think I see the role as a national role. I do see that and particularly in Treasury. I think it's one of those departments that is really as you say, it, it sees what's going on everywhere and it really wants to drive things forward for the Isle of Man and for the Isle of Man government. How much input do you get then in, in the Treasury side of things? I mean, the budget is in, almost around the corner, but it's not until obviously next year. But I mean, you know, do, you, do you really get involved in that? Do you, do you have input or is you know, Mr. Cannon just running the ship and you're just going with him? <laughs> no, there actually is real input and um, I appreciate the budget is in February, yeah. but we actually start this coming Monday. So we'll actually be interviewing all the departments. So we meet every department, every statutory board, and then we actually um, then regroup and work out um, what to do for the budget. And they come in asking you for so much, do they? And you, then you come back or how's it work? Yeah, there is a process where they can um, put bids in ahead of the meeting and then we have a meeting with every department, the, the political members as well as the officers and then we can then actually hear directly from them and then we can then make our decisions based on that. So we're very pleased that um, this year we brought in the priority based budgeting so we've actually got a pilot project in that now and that really is going to be the template for the future and I really do see that as being very important for the Alman government to adopt that, understand it and really deliver, understand their costs because mm -hmm. it's very important to understand your costs. If you don't know what your costs are it's very difficult then to see the savings. And you're talking as a businessman, is that how you need to come at this sort of thing? I, I think so. I think that's very important to have that knowledge and, and experience, really. Now, what's the feeling like in the house? I mean, you're year two and all that. Yep. So, uh, things not quite, obviously, you, you, the same as they were at the very beginning, the honeymoon period or whatever. What's it like? Do you find you can get things done? I think there's a good, strong working relationship. I think there's a very close working relationship with some members. Some members really want to drive things forward um, and others want to have off that supporting role. So I think it is working still good at the moment. We're into year two now, yeah. so we've still got three to go. So this will be a defining year probably. And how do you get on with your uh, colleague in Douglas North, uh, Ashford, isn't it? That's right, yeah, David Ashford. Do you work Minister together on things? Absolutely. Um, very pleased to support David as, as much as possible in his role as health, the Minister for Health and Social Care. Um, I was lucky to have a, a year or so in, as, as Member for Health, so I do understand a little bit and been very supportive. He's got some good initiatives, and I do believe that he'll be leading that department very well. And a lot of people have been saying it's still this walking in treacle field to being in government, trying to get things done. Do you, do you have that same take on it? Um, walking in treacle, perhaps one way of well, explaining it, but... Um, not doing as much as you can want to do. Well, it, it's really, <clears throat> it's, 
it's having those checks and balances. So although it's perhaps you know, you're not going at 100 miles an hour, you do have to have checks and balances, don't you? So scrutiny is very important, and that's what you know. We have a weekly board meeting for Treasury every week, where um, important items come to us, and we scrutinise those as, as, as hard and as detailed as we can. Um, then we'll reach an agreement in Treasury, and then that's what we then support. So it's really about testing that time. So it, it is behind the scenes. I appreciate that. And you, you can appreciate that all those all that information can't be released um, to the public. So I say some of them is, is, is weeks or months ahead of uh, a, a public date. So any, any disappointments from the, the, the things you didn't see happen that you would like to have seen? Well, disappointments, um, it's, it's about really trying to scrutinise as best you can. And then once the decision is made, it's to support that and, and, and get the best you can out of that decision. That's the way to really do things, to be honest. If you just keep throwing stones and, and, and upset that a decision hasn't gone your way and you can't move on, then it, it actually adds extra inertia to it. So you're actually then slowing down the whole mm. process. And, and what's that about? You should really agree on the agreement and support it. I, obviously, you, you were in the last house, not the full term. This was this is one now ministerial position beckoning yet. I mean, you, you still will obviously want that. I think you've made it clear that you'd like to at some stage. Would you I, not? No, say? I, I think I did say that I wouldn't turn it down. Yeah. Um, but I think I think they're quite settled at the moment. I think the chief minister's got a, a, a group of his ministers in there, and I think he's quite settled with that. And I, I wouldn't. I don't see any changes on the horizon, I, 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 and I wouldn't be calling for any changes either. No. Yeah, but you would like you would like to be. Considered, would you? I mean, let's face it. That at some point, right? you just want to be measured on on your performance, and if you would be considered, then that's fine. Politicians aren't saying, "Would you?" Or do you not like to be a minister at some point? Last year, I'm asking you, yes or no, yeah, on this question. Of course, I wouldn't turn fine. it down. There so we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now let's look to this coming year. What is in store? I mean, you mentioned there about what you got in Treasury, but what mm -hmm. as the government do you think? Have you got things on? Have you got things you want to put through? Yeah, I mean, this year I think it's going to be a, a year of substance. I mean, we, this was the budget started out last year, really. We're trying to now um, deliver on that. There is the whole question of the, of the understanding of, of substance in a, um, in a in a company role. So Moneyval are, are looking at that and so working on the, the understanding of the wording that so we can give clear direction to businesses here on the Isle of Man so they can meet their obligations for Moneyval. So I think working on that, working in the community, I think how government's role and the community's role, how that works together, I think that's going to really come to the fore this year. I think that's very important so people then can, can see how government can help the community, not always tell people what to do, but actually can support that community and working together. So I think that's going to really come to the fore this year. Now, there was this massive thing with the, the leakage of these Paradise Papers and that sort of thing, and uh, you know, the, getting the United Kingdom to come in, and that does affect your department. You know, what, what was your take on that, to actually have the Chief Minister say, oh, come on in and look at our books? Because I believe there was some, some gasps in certain, certain quarters. Well, the um, Her Majesty's Revenue do come in and, and uh, they do, but check this the books anyway. Yeah. So that that offer of that uh, maybe just um, hasten that you know by a matter of months. But there's always those regular checks going on. So I, I know that that the, the checking process has been uh, completed now, and I know they're then now just talking with the um, division, the Customs and Excise Division, and they'll be finalising the. What do you think when you saw that TV program? I mean, you, 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 again, you're on the inside. Well, I think it's one of those uh, people do like to um, sensationalise things, um, which is a distraction, to be honest. Um, I think I know that the Alaman Customs and Excise has followed every letter of the law completely correctly, so I'm very comfortable with that. I know that for a fact. So um, it'll just be interesting to see what the report. And of course, the VAT issue is always there for renegotiation and. Yeah, that, sort of that is on a regular basis. That's around about every seven years that that's um, yeah. uh, replied. So we're going to be we're in the middle of that process now. So there'll be a number of businesses and households who will be uh, carried out in the survey, and then there'll be a, a, another cost uh, sharing. Are you enjoying yourself? Absolutely. Oh, come cool. on. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you've seen the both governments. I mean, yes. Yeah. How you know? There's obviously different versions of of how it was done and then how it's done now. Uh, yeah. The, the, the last house was coming to the end of its um, time, really, and so a number of members decided to step down and and, and retire. So that hastened a, a new house. So that that working together, that want to make a difference, is still there. That enjoyment's still there, and I think we have really achieved quite a lot in this first 
two years. So I think yeah. we now I'll give you ask you a number in a minute or two. Mm -hmm. um, quickly, the, your, your charity side of thing. I think we could probably interview you on that point more than anything. That's right. Um, that that's does that tie in with government, or is that completely a separate it, thing? It, it does. It does in that way. It will actually um, explain. Can you what okay? It is. So um, the, the, the charity now has really been identified as a education centre, so we can now start educating um, people and offering them accredited qualifications. So people who have suffered from trauma in in their past, and maybe. Um, Maybe that then comes out in some sort of, some form of addiction. Maybe um, we can then actually help them understand where what that trauma is. Actually, you seem quite passionate about this thing. I am actually. Yes, oh, yeah. yes, yes. I think th it's a section of our society here in the Alaman that's perhaps been overlooked in the past and, and perhaps been put in the too difficult tray. And um, I'm happy to do as much mm -hmm. as I can. We've got a great team of people there who have been through it themselves, know exactly what the best way is forward with this and are willing to put the time and effort in. And when you see that commitment from people, yeah. that's the least I can do is support them as much as possible. So well, I'm happy to do that. You used to be a lighting man involved yeah. in electricity. Now, right. I, I understand, if I get this right, you, you are in an electric vehicle. Is, he, is, is, is that the uh, way forward? Are, are we doing a knock on this as well? Are We're you pushing harder for us all to go electric? Yeah, and I'm lucky that I've, I've been um, chosen to be on a subcommittee of a council member's subcommittee uh, around the policy for electric vehicles. EVs, as, as they're EVs. called. Um, so we, we're bringing, bringing that policy out to the public very shortly. Um, we've still got a, a bit of work to do there, but the, the draft copy's been put together, and it is the future. And it, it, it's, it's a great opportunity to actually work with the MUA at yeah. this time to actually get more. And you'd be pleased that the promenade is going to have all these charging points. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think the more charges yeah. uh, points there are, the better. And I think that'll be great for tourists as well who come here, because I do know that one of the hotels in Douglas, uh, the Manon Hotel, has actually got a charger in yeah. there. So, you know, if you've got an electric car and you want to come to the Alaman, yeah. You're going to look to see who's got a charger, do so I wish them all the best. Do then. you miss the private sector? I, I do, I do, but um, I do keep in touch with that, and I think um, I think uh, there's a, all the, the all the um, the tools, if you like, that I've made, uh, learned in business. I think I'm putting to good use in government. So we've just had a, a recent uh, gaming summit mm -hmm. here in the Alaman. So it, it's great to see how a sector like that can grow. It's great to see how we can. Um, actually get the most from that sector to help the Isle of Man as well. I think that's what it's about. It's not just about, you know, the zero tax may attract people here and actually allow that company to grow, but it's then how that company can then help the community. Okay. And well, I think that's a great way forward. Perfect time to wrap it up and ask you for some numbers. I actually don't remember what you did got last year. Um, I gave myself a six last year. Because, six. Well, okay. I gave myself a six because I thought it's, it's about learning, it's about listening, it's understanding where we are now, but I am pleased the way that the Treasury has listened uh, to people. I'm very mm. pleased that the direction we're going in now. So I know that we're working very hard. And I know your score's not on effort. It was on effort, it's it'd be a high. But sure. I do think um, we're, we're, we're now on a seven now. We're, we're, seven. we're, we're get, gathering that momentum. I think there's some great strong leadership. Uh, Treasury Minister, great, great lead, strong leadership. And the team is fully behind them. We, we, we work, we scrutinize, we develop the solution. And then once that solution's made, we're rock solid behind them. And the government, which yes. you last time. Yeah, I think seven I gave last time as well, and I think, we, you know, seven again. I think we've got... Um, a, a Should we be going higher than that by now? Or? I, I think that will come, on to your scale. Honest, I think on my scale. Yeah, because everything's got to I would like to think that we will... Um, yes, I think like, think we'll do an eight next year, but I think we just need to get another year through now and get that in the bank. And then it'll all be downhill, I say downhill towards election time. Isn't this is the sort of peak time, I don't think. You're right, you're right. It'll be interesting to see if this house can resist that which I detected in the last house. So I really, I think we've got a different group of people and I think, I think we've got a great chance of working right up to the end and, and, and perhaps put those personal ambitions to one side and work together for the benefit of the other man.